I'll say hello. All right. I'm going to give you the recipe for my sweet butt strawberries. Sweet ass strawberries. Sweet butt. Um, these strawberries, a guy pulled up in a car that said for sale. It was like a sketchy, um, <laughs> some sketchy people. And they sold the strawberries for ten dollars. They were not that sketchy, just semi sketchy. They said they're, they're like, are we? Are these were getting like, oh yeah, it's okay, they're okay. But anyway, they're really good strawberries. This strawberry season right here, I think. I rinsed them off. Take off this part of the butt. No, it's probably elegant. This is what Danimal looks like after a day in the Matrix, from Carbonells to IKEA to Walmart. To selfies, <laughs> to hashtags. I just repeated that. Don't do this at home. I put it up on Instagram. So, get your strawberry. Put a little honey on one side. And this is the, once again this, this is, is the not recipe for the ADD people. Come on, step sweet it up. butt strawberries. And you want the strawberries to be ripe and local and from someone's sketchy car. We had car. a bunch of leftover food. But anyways, we're moving whoa, whoa, in today whoa, whoa. and this is whoa. our new place. <laughs> well, I figured like I'm getting bored, so oh. they will be bored. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. All right, so on that side, and then you put, you got honey, and then you got almond butter. And look at that. Mm, you just kiss them, and then you eat them. Mm. <laughs> well, I don't know what... There is a show right now, but um, outside we got Ocean View, we got bathroom right there, um, Ikea, and we got a bed so far. And I am going to build my own bed frame, frame out of pallets because that's what I want to do. And we got huge mirrors here. It's pretty awesome. I like that. That might be one of the best features of this place. This is not the place that we were talking about that was like totally crazy that we really, really want it, but this is good. I like it. It's been a stressful day, guys, if you yeah. are know the truth. <laughs> uh, I, just, I don't I, think, I, I plan on vlogging this morning, <laughs> but uh, let me just say that there is a reason why I did not, because it wasn't pretty. Let me just tell you that. I did some things that I was ashamed of, a lot of dirty language, a lot, a lot of, Shameful, a lot of shameful languaging to Diana that I didn't really believe. <laughs> I even threw keys near her. At me. No, not at you. Mm -hmm. Diana, you can't say those things. These are <laughs> not true. I didn't throw them at you. <laughs> okay. But the one thing I did throw towards her was like a phone wire. It was very, nothing, I just felt bad because I was letting my anger. <sighs> I'm all about expressing anger, but you gotta do it in the right way and I was borderline the wrong way today, guys. Let's just say I'm ashamed. it wasn't pretty, but I was planning on vlogging the entire day, but you know, coulda, woulda. Hey, and it wasn't a one way street, though. What? It wasn't a one way street. That was, no, I was angry too. It's a lot of anger on my side, too. Not easy moving. But guy. remember, just because you reveal something, that, may, that might mean that you become less of that. Concealing it might be the most dangerous part, which you resist, persist, Carl Jung. Right now is, what time is it? I think it's like 1 a.m. or something, and I actually didn't eat anything but my burrito this morning, and our fridge is pretty much empty. Salmon, beer, Two of those for lemons, Daniel, red trolley ales, and butter and strawberries. I actually had strawberries with butter the other morning for breakfast. Hey, I do have a little, uh, this is a sneak peek to a vlog I might write coming up. It might seem like a very unserious time, but this is a serious matter. What do you guys think? Since Do It With Diana and I are pretty... Let's not do it with Diana anymore. Our Diana and I <laughs> are pretty, uh, they're pretty active on your comments and your video. That if someone is being deceptive and um, to a public audience that say I know about or Diana knows about, do you think, what is you think uh, philosophically or ethically about exposing them? Like I, I don't, I, I like to, I like to be honest about myself and I like to be honest about things that could be dangerous to other people and this is starting to I'm starting to walk the line of that, like, um, I don't know, like, so people in the health field, say if, say if we, like, here's an example, say if we know someone in the health field that's promoting a certain type of diet that they're not eating. 
do you think ethically or philosophically that by not exposing them that we are taking the same st same stance they are by lying to the public? This is something I've been wondering about. I'm gonna have a talk with some people, maybe. Good question. Maybe more than one. Like, if you find out that one of your friend's boyfriend or girlfriend is cheating, do you tell them? Or do you just say, that's not really my... Yeah, but there is an idea. Reveal. There is an idea that by you withholding that, that you're now in the same ethical position as the person that's actually committing the act. Look like a little troll. <laughs> yeah, like, you need to just... <laughs> today has been a day and a half. Uh, so anyways, yeah, really blog about that, maybe talk to some people, and yeah, just uh, don't believe everything you see. <laughs> don't believe everything you see from your public figures. I'll just give you that. Uh huh. And don't even believe everything we say. Before I did that, I like wanted to expose myself for every little thing. Like I was drinking Mexican Coca Cola all day. Like I need to make sure before I before I even think about exposing anyone, I need to make sure people even know that I might consume Coca Cola for like every once in a while. I do prefer the Mexican Coca Cola. Uh, yeah. Uh, some I just don't like. The only carbonated drink I like is kombucha, so no Coke for me. But I'm a little bit obsessively honest in some ways, but there are some people that are straight out, like, whoa. Straight out. Be careful, guys. Be careful of who you follow. We got our first picture frame here. That's sweet, huh? Uh, that might have been sweeter like a week ago. It's hard to look at right now. <laughs> That snack was starting to look a little too vegan, so for the, uh, <laughs> no offense, uh, well maybe a little bit, and for the bedtime snack, butter. Mm. Did I do the paper? <laughs>